Welcome to another Mi not a Minecraft video, guys. Not another Minecraft video. Welcome back to a brand new video, though. Hey, Liz. Liz, buddy. Liz. Who's a good boy? This is not my only reptile. You guys all know. He's not a reptile, though. Steve's still in his shell, like always. We have the leopard geckos. One sec. Leopard's asleep. But you guys can't see him, but in real life you can see him. Not through camera. I have a new pet. It's an amphibian. His name is Oreo. You guys can't see you, Oreo, can you? It's a frog. It's an American dwarf frog. Yeah, I'm gonna do. So I'm going to nothing. I can't do anything. I'll upload you guys whenever um he's out of this little place. This is his home so far. We had to put some rocks in there and stuff like that. We cleaned it out because well those fish died, including Dory. We've had Dory for a long time, but. She, he had a disease. Not him. It was swimming bladder. Swimming bladder is whenever you're when you overfeed your fish, and it can't stay balanced while swimming. The only way you could recover is by putting a heater in there. He died before we could get the heater in there. We had to go to Pet Smart buy a new one. So I bought a frog. That's how Oreo came. Oreo is an American dwarf frog. I was gonna get a tree frog, frog, but the cage cost way too much. So, I was about to be left with nothing else to get. I could not get any other animal. That's the whole reason I went there. And then she was like, okay, so you guys need to maybe do a day trip to Chattanooga because they sell um, Pac-Man frogs. These aren't the ones that do the big noising. They look just like pixie frogs. Pixie frogs scream. This is a Pac-Man frog though. She said you can get this one because it can live in a tank that's just like this. It doesn't have to have like a high tank. You can go to Chattanooga. And I was like, huh, I don't wanna leave without a pet. And I finally remembered, oh yeah, they have American dwarf frogs. It's like, hey, what about the water frogs? She was like, hopefully we got some. You might not have to go to Chattanooga. So that's how we got Oreo. They had a whole bunch of different colors. And we decided to get, well, we didn't really get to choose. She just found him first. And he was a grayish, whitish with black spots. So I'll put you guys when he comes out. Okay, guys, you're lucky to get this. I moved this thing because, well, he loves that plant. That's his home. We just got him today. Hours ago, though, it was like 3 o'clock in, in p.m., 3 p.m., when I went to the pet store to buy him. There he is, my new pet frog. His name is Oreo. He's not a reptile, he is an amphibian. People, most people should know that. I'm just telling. It's a marine amphibian. They didn't sell any tadpoles, they were out of tadpoles so though. Before, before I even thought of him, I thought about, hmm. Okay then, can I get another crab mama? She's like, sure. She was like, uh, hermit crabs? Mama was like, yeah. And she said, we're fresh out of those. What about the water crabs? We've been out of those. They're just not delivering them right now. So I couldn't get a crab. They didn't sell crabs. So, that's how I ended up with Oreo. Hopefully he goes. We were going to get a shrimp, but not today. This thing glows a lot better now. That looks great. Oreo, you can't see Oreo hardly at all with the black light on. But that glowfish glows, though. They glow shiny blue. If we turn on the regular light, 
you can see him out of nowhere. So we're gonna be keeping it on the regular light for now, not the black light anymore because, well, we need more glowfish if we're gonna do that. So for now, can you see the frog? It's probably can, but he just likes to stay under there. He likes to stay on this side because that's where the heater is. And we couldn't get him if he didn't have a heater because, well, amphibians and reptiles take... Yeah, I can't even... Yay, I'm a butterfly. I'm a butterfly. Just... Oh, it's at red. It used to be at green. I mean, it's getting warmer. How oh, those butterflies get everywhere? I know, I was just in that on. Now, the butterfly's asleep. Not to wake. Asleep. Awake. Asleep. Asleep. Caterpillar. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Caterpillar. Then it goes into his coma. Then he pops out. The butterfly. <laughs> that was a pretty cool like, little wrap. It's on red. How do you like your new life, Oreo? Yep. To show you guys, I'm not going to show you his adoption papers, but he is for sure. They're making dwarf frog. So it's right there. American dwarf frog. We didn't get that color though. We got the Oreo one. Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys my new pet frog. Don't worry, it's not going to be first frog episode. My first frog, like my first eel, which my eel disappeared. Very sad. I miss him. But it was a freshwater eel. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm not putting a saltwater animal inside of freshwater. They don't even sell saltwater at our Pet Smart. I mean, Pet Smart. Yeah. But they do at Petco. I'm going to buy my mammal. A, um, I'm thinking for her birthday. I'm going to buy her a salt, saltwater fish. I'm thinking, but if it costs too much, I might not. It's not for me, it's for my mama. Don't tell her. This video's been too long. Mama, you have anything to say to my, to the YouTube people? Nope. Got anything to say? Nope. You really don't? Nope. What's your big speech? I got her in. You need a speech. I ain't got no speech. Is this microphone on? Okay, she don't have a speech, folks. You've heard it from her. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yep. Are you completely sure? Yep. Wow. Okay, you guys might want to see... This fish aquarium, no you don't. It is completely gray. We can turn on the light though. Hey, it looks blue like the ocean, guys. At the top it looks blue like the ocean. And it goes green like the lake. It's pretty cool, the top is the ocean. And the bottom is the kelp forest. <laughs> His orange really sticks out in the whole thing. His orange really sticks out. I think this is for glowfish. Because that thing really is bright. SpongeBob, I've had that since my first fish aquarium. Oh, you can see all the fish live here. Oh, in the kelp forest. How nice. Welcome to Camp Bottom. Submarine has sunk. 
the white allergy eater got eaten by the bigger allergy eater we got. Bigger allergy eater died. So I don't have an allergy eater. And she said it would get ammonia because of how green the water is. So we're going to get a shrimp. You guys probably didn't understand me, but we, I'm going to do this again. Shrimp. Imp. A shrimp. Yes, Ordeo. Show your the audio colors. Yes. They are out of frog food, so now, for now, this is what one of my frogs have lived off of. It, it survived at least two years. And it's just been fed this stuff. When next time we go to the pet store, we will buy him some food. And if you guys are interested in getting a African dwarf frog, dwarf frog, I'll show you guys all you. Okay, guys. So we have mine, American dwarf frog. Getting to, getting to know your American dwarf frog. It's not a book, but maybe someday I'll buy a book about these things. Experience level inter I mean, African dwarf frogs grow up to three to seven centimeters. Seven centimeters. They live for approximately ten to fifteen years. Mama, Oreo will live to ten to fifteen years long. That's crazy. Oreo's gonna be my new best friend. If you know you can see Oreo. You can just go to PetSmart in Athens, no not Athens, Cleveland, Tennessee, right next to PetSmart. Well, on the hill, beside the movie theater mall kind of thing. Can't remember, but this is all you need. Small and splashy American dwarf frogs. Okay, lifespan habitat. African dwarf frogs are completely aquatic. Almost completely aquatic. Someday we're going to buy like a little place where they can get on land. We're going to lower the water a little bit. We're going to put like a turtle basking area. No, a little turtle flat suction cup so you can get on land a little. We're doing that sometime. Behavior. They can be kept with tropical community fish or similar size, but may eat small fish. It's a good thing these fish are bigger than him. An African dwarf frog aquarium. These look like food to him because these neons are just about this big. And they don't survive at all. There's that frog. Mm. Okay, A, tank. B, immunity hood. Yeah, you need a hood. That's crazy. It looks like the exact same setup I have right now. It even has that little thing on the side of it. It needs C, power filter. Yes, I have a power filter. Three, D, thermometer. Has a thermometer. E. Gravel. We have gravel. <sighs> or what do you call that stuff? It's called gravel. It's showing sand in the picture. F. Decker for hiding. Well, we have that for sure. See, we have that. We have a little cave. And plus, um, some thing, some things. G, live or a fictal plants. It has plants on that plant, on that little cave. It has plants on it, so that's all he needs right there. This is like a dream tank for him. H, a heater, because they are cold-blooded. 
How do I set up my African dwarf frog aquarium? One or two African dwarf frogs can live happily in a five gallon aquarium. If you plan to house more than two frogs or and or fish, use a 20 gallon aquarium or larger. We have a 20 gallon aquarium, so that's great for the American dwarf frog. Put the aquarium in a quiet area around a deck direct sun sunlight and drafts, but immediately eight through 12 hours per day. Well, we can take off, we can put it on those and they go straight to that fish aquarium. And plus he has his own UVB. Place no more than three frogs, frogs at a time in the aquarium. Place oh, inside the their bag for 10 to 15 minutes. We put him inside his bag for 15 minutes and then let him go out. To get used to the temperature, use a net to transfer the frog into your aquarium. I did not do that. I just... Well, I just dumped them out of the bag with the water. Like we do with all of our fish. Use the power. We have ours on. Okay. It says use use a net to transfer the. Okay, we didn't do that. Use a power filter that circulates the water in the aquarium. Three to five times per hour. Ours does 24 seven to clean the tank. To maintain the temperature, add an aquarium heater. The uses five watts of power per gallon. It does of aquarium. Water ideal temperature 73 to 82. 23 through 28 Celsius. It, the highest thing it goes to is so funny. It's 673, 78. So that's great for him. Frequent water testing and changing at least 10% weekly or 25% monthly is remaking. Pet Smart does free water testing. Well, we clean ours whenever it gets dirty. That's the only time we clean it. Sorry. Be sure to feed your frog regularly. Other, otherwise, they may eat smaller fish in your aquarium. Okay, fish may eat frog, frog's food. Ensure they do not starve your frog. Okay, I'll make sure that because there's just a little glow. Da, don't dally door. Dumbledore, I don't really know. All I know is it's, it's like taxi. I love taxi fish. They're like my favorite. They just have the taxi pattern. It's not like an actual thing. Choose pellets that sink to the bottom of your the tank. A general guideline. Offer your frog as much as much food as will consume in three minutes. We'll just feed him. Those pellets are pretty big. So we'll just feed him like three a day. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Offer sod frozen or freeze dried brine shrimp, chocolates, worms, and Okay, it's a good thing we were choosing ghost shrimp, not brine sh shrimp. They eat frozen brine shrimp, shrimp, not the ghost shrimp. Contact Aquatic Return or speak with a pet smart associate if you notice following symptoms. Usual swimming pattern, thinness of dec or decreased appetite, 
Omino swimming in the limbed or discolored skin. His skin is not discolored. Swollen joints, ex excessive shedding of the skin. I forgot. Amphibians shed, I'm pretty sure, like reptiles. So if it's shedding is excuse if it's shedding too much, I'm pretty sure that means that means that means he's well not doing so well. So we'll monitor his acting. Uh oh. So this bit this video is gonna be called How to Take Care of Your American Dwarf Frog. Five Gallon aquarium or larger aquarium stand aquarium hood with light fixture and bubs. It does have that aquarium gravel and vacuum. We do not have a gra vacuum. We just take out the gravels and wash them. I think vacuum. I don't. Know. But we do have gravel. Filtration serum. C associates for best solution. We have filtration, aquarium heater, and thermometer. Therm I have one of those. Water testing kit or strips. I have water testing strips. I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, this is it. My mom uses this on her, on her pool. Not this one. She has one for her pool. Not this one. This one's for fish. Just wanted to show you guys so you believe me. Okay, let's get back to reading. Aquarium heater and thermometer. I have a thermometer. Water testing kit strips don't have that. Water. Wait, I do have that. Water. No, water conditioner. The. I can't even read that word. I didn't learn that in ELA. Beneficial bacteria starter. I think we have a bacteria. It's a tropical fish, so he doesn't really. They don't really have bacteria. And my, none of my fish had a bacteria on them when they died, so I think he's going to be good. Okay, decorations, artificial or live plants. We have all that. Algae cleaning pad or stripper. We can get a ghost shrimp, not the dying shrimp. I'm not getting that shrimp, apparently. Pelleted food. Don't have that now, but we can still feed him tetra food. Because like I said, I once had a pet frog, American dwarf frog. Where did he go? Okay, guys. Where did that American dwarf frog go? I'm assuming he's in this thing. I can't see him. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I don't see the American dwarf frog. It's not in the shark's mouth. Did you eat him? You can't eat him. If anything, if he got bigger than you, he could eat you. I don't see him in the flexion. Okay, we have a missing frog mammal. No, I would never let a frog out. I can't find him. Take him out of the tank? Why would I take him out of the tank? I only take lizards and crabs out of the tank, not frogs. Frogs could pee on my hand, and I don't want one. He blends in so well with the volcano. Mama, come here. He blends. He was on the volcano. He blends in so good. Uh huh. He looks just like the volcano. Come look. Do you guys see him? You guys might have been screaming at me the whole time. I don't know. That's our American dwarf frog. So that's how to take care of your American dwarf frog. I'm about to fall out. So you guys want to get one of these and you didn't understand a thing I said, just go to PetSmart. Pet Smart Care Guides. Developed and approved by Pet Smart Veterinarians. Pet Smart has their own vets!
That's crazy. I just thought you had to go to a local vet or something. And I'll show you guys the rest of our stuff. We have, this is Tetra. Oh, that's goldfish. It says Tetra on the top of it, though. That's what I don't get. It says Tetra. Do you think it'll be for Tetra? I have all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the stuff I need for Mr. Frog. Can't believe I read that much. I don't even like to read. Now, Mom, I like to read. Things about reptiles and frogs. Well, really, I like to just read stuff to camera. Maybe I'll be a reading channel. Who knows what my YouTube channel can turn to. Oh, yeah. It said open in battle on this guy's pack, on these two pack package and his, too. So, opened in back, back, battle. Look, look, look. Hey, Pteranodon. What are you doing over there? Don't know. What are you, Raptor? Ah, shot one of you. Now you shot the other. Yep, headshot. I also shot his fellow friend. Hey, Rex. Okay, guys, that's just my American door frog for you. And if you wanted to get one, they are super easy to take care of. You just have to buy. If you're going to get three of them, three or two, if you're going to get more than one, you need to get a 20-gallon tank and water and a platform, which we're going to get, and some rocks and some gravel and a filter. Okay, if you guys have a fish aquarium with tropical fish in there and a heater, you're basically set to go. As long as it has a hiding spot with leaves, leaves, plants, and a little burrow place, like a little rock to live in. And apparently they love these. $7 at Pet Sense in Athens. Right beside of Magic Scissors. You guys know where that is? Hopefully you do. Hello, froggy. But this video is almost 30 minutes long. That's almost half an hour. The camera's almost dead, too. How funny is that? Doesn't take long for the camera to die. <sighs> it really doesn't. It really, really does it. Doesn't. So, there you guys go. That's how to take care of your American dwarf frog with Zeke. You should not get any other frog. Because their tanks are way too expensive. If you're wanting to spend less money, buy these two. You can just need for this one, while he's still on the young side, he needs to go in this. But soon you're going to have to upgrade it to maybe, he's going to get about 8 inches. So maybe here to here. Let me get the, oh yeah, that's right. I, where's the measuring tape? I thought you were called you holding that Don't throw that away. Ew, I'm not touching that stuff. Okay, guys, so that's how to take care of your American dwarf frog. Basically, you can buy a cage big enough for him. You really can. But it can't be plastic because your heat bulb is going to melt it. If you want the pixie one. Pixie one's a little harder to take care of. Trust me, it is. So get the American dwarf frog or the pixie frog. Best choices right here on my table. Best choices right there. If you guys are wanting for a toad type of one, not a frog, the Pac-Man frog. This isn't the pixie frog. Did I say pixie frog? Don't get the pixie frog. It screams terrible. Looks exactly like it, but it screams terrible. That's how they tell. But let's do a Pac-Man frog story time. This is an hour. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give you guys. Some, no. I'll save that for next episode. Hey, guys. This is going to be a good one. Bye, guys. Hope you like this video.